welcome you to a demonstration of what I believe offers a simple, low-cost solution to creating a three-dimensional prototype from computer graphics. Visual Impact Corporation has the technology to offer a user-friendly desktop, three-dimensional, rapid prototyping peripheral, the Sculptor. The Sculptor is based on a patented process of jetting two or more materials to create a three-dimensional part. The primary material is used to form the prototype part. The secondary material serves as a structural support allowing for the creation of extremely complex parts with a high degree of accuracy. The part is formed by jetting a series of cross-sectional layers that will create the prototype part within a block of support material. The support material is simply removed because it has a lower melting temperature. The visual team has over 40 years of experience in developing and manufacturing of jetting technology systems and feels the sculptor will be an affordable computer peripheral when produced in quantities and is expected to sell for $20,000 or less. move the platen over to the side here so that you can get a clearer view of the part that we have created using the jetting technology. You will note that the part has an integral pattern. The primary part is in yellow. The support material is in this beige color that has filled all the cavities. As the part is created, we section it and we lay down a layer of the primary material where it needs to go and then we fill in the balance of the space with the support material with the other jets. Layer by layer we build up the part. By doing it in a cross-sectional manner we can create any part that you would want to make whether it be a sphere, a block, an odd shaped part. We can create any part that you want to design and produce a part for prototyping. You will note that the edges are square and sharp. The pattern is defined clearly. The circle here is very round and distinct. The cross members, the small hole in the middle. The support material can be removed by just a temperature differential. It has a slightly lower melting temperature than the primary material and it will flow away and you are left with the pot. The machine consists of a series of jets that put the primary material down and a series of jets that put the support material down. We have one axis which goes back and forth is driven by this motor. We have the second axis which goes up and down, is driven by this slide and motor here. And we have the third axis of moving in depth, which is driven by this motor here. Here is another part that we have produced on the prototype machine that you have seen in the previous few minutes. You'll note the part does not have the support material in it anymore. You can clearly see the fine outline of the grid, the circular hole through the part. And note also how straight and sharp the edges are. How clear and sharp it is down in here. Here's another sample part that we've made on the machine that shows both materials still together.
material is ideal for investment casting. We have proven that we can take this material, coat it with a ceramic, melt it out, and it leaves no residue or impurities, and it's ideal for producing a functional pot. Also, the machine has the capability of either producing the positive or the negative. If you have a situation where you want to mold something in a molding machine, let's say, you can make the negative of it, which would produce the tool that you could produce mold, injection mold the pots in. The machine has a lot of capabilities and a lot of versatilities, and only your imagination 